Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Alan I'm with Off Grid Technology, and one of the questions I get about the GMRS Pro from BTEC is, does it really do APRS? Um, APRS is a messaging protocol um, that the handbands use to send short message, you know, things like that. And there's been a lot of confusion of whether or not we are actually using APRS or if we're not using APRS with the BTEC GMRS Pro. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to take a few minutes to go over a SDR software um, or an SDR program that I'm using here. Uh, it's called RTLFM. And what this does is this takes the raw audio format using these parameters and the frequency, which is uh, 462.725 that we're listening to here. Uh, we're using a gain of 42 and a sampling size of 22.050 hertz. Um, forgive me, I don't remember what the L stands for. I will put that in below or in the notes here. Um, and then what we're doing is we're piping that audio out to another application called Multimon. Uh, Multimon is just going to take what we put here and we're just going to dump it over to Multimon itself and it's going to decode what we tell it to decode. Um, so what we're looking at here is we're going RTLFM to, you know, on this frequency, you know, using this gain setting and using this sampling setting, pipe that over in raw format. So in Multimon we're going to be listening in the raw format. Uh, we're going to decode using a APSK 1200. Um, APS 12K, excuse me, AFSK 1200. Um, AFSK 1200 is just a um, a baud or a, a modem type um, where it's listening. There are a couple different ones that we can uh, decode, excuse me, that we can decode not just with AFSK. There's, you know, other things called POXAG and things like that that we can use. Um, and, you know, and then we're just piping that over into this program bringing it in using dev standard in. Uh, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, not be over convoluted. Um, if you know Linux, you know what this is. So the output is going into dev standard in, uh, out. We're using dev standard in, which is the reverse of that to be able to pull this in. Once we run it, you'll see here that it'll start up. Um, you should have no errors. If you're getting errors here, check your syntax. Uh, I actually had a couple things wrong up here at the top. I was missing the dash on the L. Um, so fix that. Once you got that fixed, uh, the last thing you should see is the output at 22050, which is what we specified uh, up above here. Um, and then there are some others, like I said, there's POXAG, so the old pager, you know, stuff that used to be sent out, AFSK, AFSK 1200, 2400, and so on. Um, this is using the a Realtek SDR dongle. Um, I will put a link to which one specifically I'm using for you in the, the description. Um, but these are some of the things that you can decode using this program. So we're going to hit it down a couple spaces. We're going to get the phone set up and I'm going to be back with you here in just a second. Uh, let me get the phone set up and we will start sending this so you can see it. A few moments later. All right, so we're back up on the bench here. I've got the SDR on the left hand side. We've got my iPhone on the right hand side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to messaging. We're going to paste a message that says, hello, YouTube family from the off-grid technology team. Uh, we thank you guys for all the support. We're going to go ahead and hit send on that message here now. And then you're going to see right there, it pops up on the SDR saying the same thing. Hello, YouTube family from off-grid technology. So again, what this does is that the phones can be used to send data through the radio out to the radio world using uh, APRS. Uh, that's what we were decoding here. So um, it's obviously using some sort form of APRS, at least for the messaging side of things. Uh, I'm going to keep digging, see if I can find some more stuff. Uh, one of the things I did want to note is I did use the HT app for this. You do see the same thing with the BTEC app, but the HT app on iPhone has a little bit more features that I like. So I've been using that one. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for the Play Store and for the iPhone Store uh, if you guys are interested. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, let me know what you guys think, and uh, 73.